What's up guys, it's your boy Gagey Horn, and today I want to answer a little question for you guys today. Gage, how do you do it? How do you get up on that floor and just go? Just get up on that floor and dance like no one's watching, like literally nobody's watching. Well, ever since I was about the age of 14, yes, yeah, see that was gonna say earlier than that? No, it's uh, 14. 14 was the very first time I seen this amazing movie called Step Up, and this Step Up movie was incredible. The dancing, the movement, it just got so insane good. I just absolutely loved it. So finally, after this amazing movie, I was like, I want to dance. So that's when I started looking at music videos and dance videos and learned the word choreography, typed in choreography numerously on YouTube with songs and watched dance videos, dance video after dance video over and over and over and I just loved it. And then finally, I had the opportunity to actually perform in a talent show. Hi, my name is Gage Horn. Um, this is for the talent show for you guys at the Denver. Which I did and which was one of the most horrible things ever. I actually danced to Down by Jay Sean and all the whole time I just opened up my jacket like this. It was absolutely terrible. But you know what I learned from that experience, going up on that stage to looking at the crowd, like I've never felt so alive. And if you guys watch the newest Step Up All In, there's a big part he talks about it, is every time you're up on stage, you, you feel alive for that one second. You just feel uh, incredible just for that one second that you're dancing on stage. For that, It just feels like a flash. But when you're up on that stage, you're looking at everyone around you, cheering you on. You will never have a better feeling in the world. Woo! At least for me, you all have that one special thing, but this is my special thing. And every time I got in front of people, every time there's people cheering for me, every time there's people asking me to dance, I, I would go for it. I would just do it. I don't think about it because I don't care what other people think of me. You know how many times I've had people say to my face, text me, over the internet, comments on my videos, or booing me when I go up on stage or in a circle. So many times, I couldn't even count. But even to this day when that happens, I get up and I do my best anyways because it doesn't matter what they're thinking, it doesn't matter what they're saying, it doesn't matter about what they're gonna say in the future. It matters about right then and right there. And right then and right there what's happening is me. I'm performing and I'm dancing and for that second I feel alive so why should I give a dang what he's gonna say or the way he's booing me and not liking my dances or talking crap over there who cares I'm having an amazing time I'll repeat it a thousand times, that one moment where you just feel like life is at its best, where you just feel totally alive for one second. So he has nothing to do with that equation, because that equation is all of me, plus the dance floor, and what I can do. That's all it is, and that's what it's always going to be, and that's what I keep in my head. You know, I go out there and, oh, trust me, I fell. I remember this one time. This one time, I oh, I felt really bad. There was this thing called that. And it was like a, a big dance for, uh, like a, they did this thing for teens, like, you know, 12 up to 18, where it was at a water park and they'd pull out big music and you could dance and play loud music. last two years I've gone, I've literally, every time I've gone, I got a circle around me, like, not trying to sound cocky, but follow along the story for a second, and 
I'm in the circle and I'm dancing and I'm partying and a couple people jump in with me. I twerked with a couple people and just always had a blast. Well, this last one that, well, actually, should I say my very last time going to these, time, uh, these things because they only happen four times a summer and that four time was just a couple weeks ago, which means next year I'll be 19, which means I won't be able to go to it anymore. It's sad, but point being, I was, I was dancing in a circle and I was... Oh, it was, it was so good, you know, I go there and I have a couple people around me and we're all dancing and we're all having a good time and uh, my cousin was here from uh, out of town and she and I were just, just partying and finally I just start dancing and this one of my favorite songs come on, so here I am going crazy, going full at it, doing moves I didn't even think I could do and just going and finally all these people start circling me and they're all, yeah, Gage, Gage, my friends are starting this little chant and it was such a blast and one of my favorite moves is where I grab my leg and I jump over it with my other leg. And you guys may have seen that in a couple of my dance videos. Go hard like I got to eat up within my heartbeat. And I'm eating at the beat like you gave a little speech. But drink my truck on truck. We got girls like came in a couple hours later. This one time I was so into the moment, so excited, my my excitement level was over the radar, like, just way, way over, and I wasn't really focusing on my dancing, I was just going at it, having the best time of my life, and talking about living the moment too much. Well, there's never such a thing as that, but I actually, in this particular thing, I was so into the moment, I actually tripped over my leg when I tried to do it. I grabbed my leg, and I was about to jump, and I hit my leg didn't jump high enough and so I fall to the ground and everyone's like oh has everyone at the same time has that whole oh moment you know you all say at the same time and I'm up on the ground you know what I do and I just smile I stand back up I grab my leg and I do it again and guess what guys I made it everyone just yeah yeah now there was two different ways I could have ended one I could have got up walked away and just ended my whole night in, in an awkward position or two, I did what I did, get back up, and I try it again. And that is why, that is why I do what I do. That's how I do what I do. It's because I live in the moment. Don't think about the future. Think about right now. Like, have you ever got, started dancing to music? And this is not even just for dancers, for anyone. Have you ever just danced to music and got so into the music you just got lost? You literally just got lost in the music where you're not even controlling your body anymore. You're just going at it because it's, the music's blowing loud. You're with some friends and you're partying and it's just the best thing ever. You're just going hard. And that's how it was for me. And so my final answer is how I do what I do is because when I fall... I get back up and I try it again and I succeed and if I don't succeed even the second time I'll try it again and again and again until I do. That's how I'm putting in this money. What I want to do is free flow.